Professor Richard S. Linzen of Massachusetts Institute of Technology went and did a very silly thing. He has claimed that all of the science journals that have published refereed peer-reviewed science papers on the subject of atmospheric carbon dioxide generated by tens of thousands of scientists from 85 countries and over 550 science organizations are wrong. Which, of course, he could very well be correct. It's been known to happen. However, the cynical among us will look and see where Mr. Linzen gets his financing. Oddly enough, it appears to be the petroleum industry. Professor Linzen has been reported as saying that carbon dioxide that humans have been putting into the atmosphere has had and will have a negligible effect on global climate. Professor Linzen has also said that there is a 50-50 chance that within 20 years, starting in year 2006, global temperature has a 50-50 chance of going up or down. The scientific consensus, of course, is that global temperature will increase in the foreseeable future due to carbon dioxide being put into Earth's atmosphere by human beings. One possible mechanism for having the global temperature decrease over the next 15 years or so is to have the sun dim slightly. This is entirely possible, but very unlikely. An abnormal increase in volcanic activity could also cool the Earth's global temperature temporarily. The third way is for humans to pump a whole bunch of aerosols into the Earth's atmosphere. That also has already had a cooling effect. The fourth mechanism, of course, is to remove the excess carbon dioxide that humans have put into the atmosphere. Nobody at the moment knows how to do that. Reason Magazine has actually reported that Linzen is willing to wager on the subject if someone will give him 50 to 1 odds. What that means is that he has a 2% confidence that he is going to actually win his own wager. Or to put it the other way, contrary to what he has asserted, he is extremely confident that he will lose his wager and that Earth's temperature will increase over the next 16 years or so. The question then arises, what are the actual odds that Earth's global temperature will increase over the next 16 years? The actual odds is very simple to calculate, and we've actually done that over and over and over again. We have a very high confidence rate, over 97%, that Earth's global temperature will continue to increase because it has been doing so for at least 30 years. Every single science organization in the world who have been studying the subject all agreed that atmospheric carbon dioxide is the chief cause, but not the only cause, of the current global increase in temperature. So what would be a fair wager if we were going to bet on global temperature increasing over the next 16 years? There are two major components of a fair wager. The first, obviously, is the likelihood of winning and the likelihood of losing. Barring quantum effects, which of course would be utterly ridiculous to even consider in most cases, this is not random. The second major component, of course, is the payoff if one is right and the payout if one is wrong. This sometimes, if you're doing risk management properly, is much more important than component number one. Or in other words, if the profit involved is higher than your risk assessment in losing, it is often worth your while to take the wager if somebody gives you, for example, 51 odds, whereas if you win, you get $50, and if you lose, you pay $1. To demonstrate risk assessment for a wager, I thought I would use as an example, Kino. The odds of winning are easily calculated with a simple formula. Computers, of course, can do this in their sleep, such as Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. The odds of picking enough correct numbers are extremely small. Just for fun, I wrote a simulation for Kino in Visual Basic, and I ran it 50,000 times for 5 spots, and 50,000 times for 6 spots, etc, etc, up to 10 spots. And then I calculated the difference between the simulated odds and the calculated odds. La -de -da, -de da 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 run 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 run. Computer doesn't give a shit what it's doing, so I just let it run all night. I then graphed the simulated results and then I compared it to the calculated. And I confirmed that the pseudo random number generator in my computer matches what was actually expected. 
One amusing discovery is that there's an online casino that actually has a Kino payout schedule that will allow the user to win money, if of course they are honest. I don't trust them as far as I could throw a D6 caterpillar. After calculating the odds of winning and losing, we can then calculate a payout schedule where nobody wins and nobody loses, and it is all just one big long mental masturbation. Which brings us back to Professor Linzen and his wager. What would be a fair wager? Since it is extremely likely that carbon dioxide will continue to be pumped into the atmosphere at the current rate, if not faster, we can be extremely confident that Earth's global temperature will continue to increase over the foreseeable future by a confidence of 97.71%. The actual calculated figure is very close to the 50 to 1 odds that Professor Linzen had been asking for. Of course, people trying to actually get him to take the wager have failed miserably. The moral of this story, and the video of course, is when you sell your soul to the petroleum corporations, you can and will say some very silly things, but not actually believe it.